Uh, it is April Fool's Day. If you didn't check your calendar, and there have been a lot of attempts at political humor, most of them have been pretty poor. This one I think is pretty good. Take a look. He kept all his promises. Change has come to America. Unemployment is at negative 39%. The most sweeping economic recovery package. Our deficit is no more. Put an end to the runaway spending and the record deficits. And global warming has been solved by replacing cars with low emission unicorns, powered by the renewable energy of rainbows. Our great leader, Barack Obama, has changed the world. Uh, oh, April Fool's. Uh, April Fool's. That's the National Ooh, that Republican the Celestial. The Celestial Choir. Yeah. There you go. National Republican <laughs> Senatorial Committee. Yes. Province Rhode Island. It's worth. It's worth the full. It's, yeah. it's worth the full watch. There's a good Hillary Clinton quote in there. The rainbow as well. power is really strong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unicorn. Very nice touch. Well well efficient done. unicorn. Kudos, well, Brian Walsh. Yeah, good job. Good job for them all. Well, Jonathan Martin from Politico.com uh, joins us. And, and Jonathan, I, I want to start with this poll that we saw today from Gallup, the generic yeah. ballot. We saw it in the USA Today poll. It, it, it doesn't seem like there's a bump in Democrats' favor. This has got to be sending a chill down the spines of a lot of folks right now. Yeah, I mean, it's like the old line from Hillary Clinton in, in New Hampshire, uh, Mark Penn, where's the bound? Right? <laughs> I mean, like, uh, what happened, right? So, uh, look, I think it's still a little bit early to sort of make sweeping assessments. Uh, I, I, we're still very close to the passage of the bill. But that said, when you see the generic number swinging back to the Republicans, uh, I mean, that's really going to worry Democrats. And again, what can you do between now and November to change? I mean, obviously, again, you hope it sort of settles in and, and folks start looking at it and they start sort of changing their mind a little bit. But uh, I don't know. Right, but to me, it seems that the biggest concern is the political argument was we got to accomplish something. Yeah. We got to do something big to these vulnerable Democrats, right? That's what they really, I think, wanted the bounce to prove. Like, right. look, we're getting these points. We're doing something big. Compliments, you know, Axelrod, yeah. Yeah, Axelrod right. said the other day, listen, there's no bounce yet because what you're saying, it's not fully implemented right. yet. These people don't. But that now means that you're putting Digestion. the entire yeah. political success of the bill on the fact that the implementation is going right. to gonna work like for then. the American people. And, and it's, the implementation is going to take a while. And, uh, take a while. And right. clearly there are going to be problems with it that are that will be blamed on the White House. I mean, I think, and lots of Democrats would concede this, they lost control of the narrative, I think, during the course of, of the health care debate. It became so wrapped up in process, and it ultimately became less about the substance than the process. The White House now is trying to sort of reframe the conversation on the substance and on, on what's in there, and obviously that's easier to do after a bill is law. Right. But that seed was planted, guys, last year, exactly. and it's very, very tough changing that. And especially with some of the sort of hostile media environment out there, uh, it's very tough to get folks to change their mind right. after they already believe this is X, Y, and Z. And that segues into our question of the day, which is what, if, if, if there's a way for the for the president to recast his yeah. pitch on health care. One response we got from uh, Brian Myrick, politics is like baseball, and the pitcher doesn't get to call a do-over just because the opposing team is lighting him up, taking that pitch reference right. uh, very literally. But that's, <laughs> that's just it. I mean, these arguments have been out there. Yeah, and again, I'm just not sure how uh, you get some folks to change their mind after they're convinced that this is socialism or this is going to be some sort of radical change. Uh, it's a, just a very, very tough sell. Uh, and given what has been done so far, I mean, obviously it's not working yet, but again, let's look at the polls, say, this summer. Right, okay. You know, July, August, where do things stand? If, if people are still adamantly into this bill, if the generic is still where it is mm -hmm. or it's getting worse, then obviously we're talking about major losses for, for Democrats this fall. I want to turn your attention to the RNC. I know that you uh, just posted an item on Politico.com yeah. saying that uh, the controversy is not ending at the RNC. What, phone sex, what, phone sex. When it rains, it pours. So this is a week that started talking about lesbian bondage clubs <laughs> in West Hollywood, <laughs> and the week now is coming to an end. Uh, a mailer that was sent out last month, a mailer that was, I think, widely sent out because it was that census, that sort of right. faux census mailer, right. at the, the bottom of it had a phone number next to the RNC address that had a 1-800 number. Turns out that doesn't go to the RNC. It actually goes to a phone sex line advertising women who I won't describe in great depth. <laughs> but you. if some of your viewers out here want to know what they have to offer, they can go on and what does the RNC say Politico.com's blog. Uh, they say, well, first of all, they, they are not going to do business with the vendor uh -huh. uh, for the time being. Uh, and they say uh, this was just the one mailer but this census mail, I think, got around pretty, yeah, pretty, right. pretty this wide is kind and of far. A bad typo and again, it? it's timing, guys. I mean, yeah. it's look, it's a bad typo. It's embarrassing. This stuff happens, but it's the timing issue and it's a competence issue. Can this gang shoot straight? I think that's the question a lot of folks around town are asking. 
Well, yeah, and, and you're exactly right. And Rick, Tony, Tony Perkins weighing in. This is, this is not going to help the efforts to kind of shore up uh, where things stand for Republicans. And if folks have a choice, they'll just give their money to the to NRSC. Exactly. Uh, and the or others are NRCC the or candidates. Right. Exactly. Right. All right, Jonathan Martin, Politico.com. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you, sir. Be sure to click us on again tomorrow. Twitter.com slash the note. We never do phone sex lines here. Very plain. <laughs> 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 <laughs>